Hey, Leo, this is Jackie Talman. This is your general reading. This is for the week of February 6, 2023. Thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, we are live today on the YouTube format. So if you're on YouTube, if you scroll low, you'll find the chat room where you can follow along. Um, what we've got going on for the Leos. Okay, there is an Aries here. So you may be dealing with another fire sign this week. And looking at a good business deal. And honestly, I really like to, to title this video, Wheeling and Dealing. Y'all are really popping off some different uh, business deals. There is a quick warning, okay, of your anger and or your temper. And I'm seeing maybe some jealousy here. Whether you're jealous of someone or someone is jealous of you. Okay, but there is a sign of jealousy here. You are on the right path. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing for the time being. Hi, Miss Dana. And someone you already know, okay? Someone you already know close to you is coming in for that unexpected offer of assistance. You do have some endings here. So with that endings, you know, I always associate that, that with a new beginning. And it does lead to some total victory. So let's see what we got going on here. Hi, Miss Patricia. Leo, like I said, this is your week of February 6, 2023. Your first card up is the devil. All right, let's see what falls with that is the moon, divine timing. Okay, so when I speak to you about divine timing, it's about things lining up and falling into place. The fact that the moon has fallen into this onto Leo, it does tell me that this is the week that things are going to generate, things are going to start to free up, and you will feel that shift in energy. You have the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is coming in with a spiritual and financial blessing, but overall is asking you to count your blessings, and for whatever reason, I'm seeing snow. So some of my Leos out there, you're going to be snowed in the week of the six. We have with that the uh, four of swords. Four of swords comes in as the calm before the storm. Going to be busy. Get the, get the rest that you need while you can because the center you're reading is the hangman. You guys are feeling stuck. You feel like you're not moving forward. You're not moving backwards. There's just no movement around you. That's actually not the case. This is the spirit asking you to be still. There's some messages to be delivered. And sometimes it's more than messages being delivered. It's, um, um, how do you say? It's uh, messages. Yeah, there's your clearing. Um, answers that you've been seeking might come into you as well. Okay. We have the Four of Pentacles. Keep some things to yourself, thoughts, ideas, and or opinions. And we have the Four of Cups with an unexpected offer of love. And what we have there, going back to that devil card energy, does show intensity in the love life. Uh, there is a little bit of a warning for my Leos out there in the single world. Um, the single Leos out there, be careful who you're getting involved with. Ace of Wands, what I talked about at the beginning of endings and closures. This indicates you're under the era of new beginnings. That new beginnings is right now. And we have the Page of Swords. Somebody watching you. Um, honestly, a little stalkerish, to be quite honest. But someone's watching you online or watching, watching what you do. Perhaps you have a secret admirer. So let's move forward with these messages. What we have here is the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, card of self-imposed restrictions. No one's holding yourself back but you. And remember at the beginning of the reading, I mentioned your anger. And this possibly could be some of your anger with angered with yourself. Okay, on that divine timing comes strength. Strength is on your side no matter what you do. Okay, could be dealing with another Leo. Well, this is why you're going to need strength because you have a tower. Tower card moment, nothing to be feared. But let's go ahead and clarify it while we're here. Okay, this is your anger. This is your temper. This is something coming in. It will lead to sudden changes and always, always leads to something better. Speaking of your anger, five of cups, stop overthinking things. When you overthink things, you make things 10 times worse. 
King of Pentacles. It could be, have to do with finances, Gemini energy, as well as the Hierophant. You are going to manifest that. Okay, I cannot say this enough. You are going to manifest this. Quit overthinking things. You're going to piss yourself off. No simple way to put that. <laughs> okay, just saying. All right, so moving forward with your messages. Now we know why the anger was there at the beginning of the reading. The Queen of Swords. Okay, Queen of Swords, you may be dealing with a Virgo energy. You may be dealing with someone with a little bit of a smart mouth or some I, I know it all type energy, which is not going to work well for Leo. So, yeah, going back to that temper. And in the center of the reading, we have the lovers. We do have a lot of intensity and love for my Leos, whether you're single or couple. And moving forward, we have, yeah, four swords, calm before the storm. Definitely get the rest that you need while you need it. Four of cups. We got two on the four of cups. So we've got the eight of pentacles, money in addition to. Like I said, there is a good business deal. It's the way you're reading started, as well as an unexpected offer. And for some of you, it's an unexpected offer of love on that ace of wands energy. Ace of wands says we have the knight of pentacles. New money rushing in. Heads up there. That's good news. Going with that good business deal couple more jumping out. We have the Eight of Wands. Total happiness, total contentment. Love arrows flying around with judgment. Okay, now judgment isn't so much of you judging someone else. This is telling you, quit worrying about what other people think about you. Okay. And in the center of the reading we have, could be dealing with an Aries. Okay. King of Wands. You're grounded, you're centered, you're taking authority. Maybe dealing with another Leo. I picked that up a couple times, even though it hasn't shown me anything to say, Leo. You may very well be dealing with another Leo. Okay. But you're you're taking authority. You're saying I've done A, B, and C, and now it's time to do X, Y, and Z. So well, there you go. There you go. She gouge your eyes out with it. I'm just saying. So that's what I have for my Leos. Guys, don't forget JackieTomlin.com if you're seeking a personal reading. I am logging off. We are live today. Coming right back. Virgo. Virgos, you are up next. Bye.